All right, it looks like we are live. What's going on already for Tender here? And I am here for some more Super Mario Sunshine. But first, we will be doing a Pokemon TCG unboxing. I just ping notifications for nothing. Whoopsie daisies. Uh, okay, so link on the Discord. We can now start the stream. Awesome. So, I thought I went to the card shop today. I bought some cards. It's the, uh, the Pokemon Rebel Clash, uh, sorry, the Sh Sword and Shield Rebel Clash series at the moment, so we're going to be doing an unboxing of this, and then after that we will get on to, of course, the main attraction, Super Mario Sunshine is waiting and ready, but we're going to do this first. So, jump into the first pack, I'll move the box out of the way, um, don't really know what I'm hoping for, just anything good I suppose, secret rares, something like that, uh, it's not a good sign if I'm struggling to open the first pack, so let's try that, there we go. Now, there is a pattern to these. You have to do, like, three to the back, one to the front, or something like that. Something along those lines. Anyway, so... Hopefully this doesn't take too long, because I do want to actually manage to play some... Uh, some actual Super Mario Sunshine today. So, hopefully this doesn't take long, but you go one, two, three to the front, and I'm pretty sure you take off an energy. Yep, okay. So you get rid of the energy, so I'll make an energy pile over there, because you get one per pack. And then you go from the front, and then you get the rarest one at the back. So, just kind of go through this pretty quickly. You get a reverse in every set, obviously. So, the reverse is there. And then on the end, we have a regular rare. So, nothing too grand there. I do want to separate the, um, the reverses from the rest of it. But apart from that, we'll just keep going. I'm going to try and do this pretty quickly. Because, I do, as I said, I do want to get into playing some Super Mario Sunshine. This probably does look awful on screen, but it's not really focusing, that's why. If I get a rare card, I'll make sure it focuses in. Also, you can't really see me. I'm not sure if that's important at all. Um, okay. Because I could have the camera angle, like, up here, like that. And then I just have to, like, show the cards if I get something good. That's probably better, though, isn't it? I think I'll do that. That's probably the more smart option for this stream, because then you, you can at least still see me. Okay, so I'll perch that there. Angle this down a little bit. Is that good? Okay, that's probably good. Alright, and then I can just be like, Whoa, the next pack, everybody, whoa! Alright, so, and then you can see the Super Mario Sunshine is ready to go in the background. Okay, did I do the thing? I did not, so I've got to go one, two, three to the front, get rid of the lightning energy. I'm gonna face the camera down a little bit more so you can see the cards actually. Okay, that's slightly better I guess. We could probably go further down. Or I could go like a top down view like this. I don't know man, I'm just trying to do stuff. That's good, we'll do it like that. Except I gotta feed the cable behind. Otherwise it's gonna look weird. Okay, there we go. I think we finally got it set up. Cool, so we have... Okay, looks like we got something good on the end. So, Beware, Polisand, Training Court, Corsola, Binacle, Scyther, Vullaby, Dreepy, Reverse Flapple. And on the end, we have our first V card. Uh, Elagos V, right there. Trying to get a focus on that. Focus! It's like the camera from the bowling vlog just doesn't doesn't focus ever. Focus on the card, not the background. Okay. Just doesn't want to focus. Very nice. That's pretty cool. So we'll chuck that in a sleeve. Rest assured we will be playing Super Mario Sunshine later, so. It's our first V card, so we'll chuck that in a sleeve. And then get the top loader out, chuck it in there. Very good start. What a gamer. I agree, Stevie, what a gamer. Thank you for joining the stream, very much appreciated. And there, hopefully if we get a focus on that, there is our first card. This is going back to my roots. For anybody who did, doesn't know, before I was known as Fintendo, my uh, YouTube channel as a kid was known as Pokemon Pow. 
Your fin was the blue eyes white dragon. I actually bought Yu-Gi-Oh cards as well. They're upstairs though. But that that's not really a booster box. That's just some like pre-made decks that I bought because it's epic. Um, no idea what that is. Just put that over there. All right, next pack. I'm gonna make a pile of rubbish down there. Yo. <laughs> But yes, before I was Fintendo, the channel was called Pokemon Pal. We have a follow-up. I don't know what it is. Uh, Sir Sebastian, thank you for the follow, dude. Very much appreciated. I have a feeling I know who that is. Okay. I don't know if this code card means you got something good, but it, it seems every time I get something good, I get specifically that code card instead of that one. So I don't know. Maybe it's something special. Who knows? Uh, one, two, three to the front. Get rid of the energy. Here we go. Skylar, Luxio, something, something, unpronounceable, 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 unpronounceable. The reverse Caterpie. Are you winning, son? <laughs> Currently, yes, I guess. I guess. And on the end, we have a holographic Clefable. Very nice. So I'll make another pile for hollows over there. And put the rest of these in my junk pile. <laughs> This pile's gonna be massive at the, end of this, at the end of this. There's like 36 packs in this box, I'm pretty sure. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> Six watching, thank you guys for watching so far, I appreciate it. I have a feeling I know where most of you are. God, why are these impossible to open? <laughs> Come on. There we go. And this box was sealed, so it probably hasn't been mapped or anything like that. These things are impossible to open. Half the battle is actually getting them out of the, out of the packet. Uh, wait, i got to do the thing. Okay, we got a bad code card, so it's probably not going to be anything. Metapod, something, Burning Scarf, Honage, Tylopole, Vullaby, Corsola, Doxel, Reverse Card, and a regular rare on the end. So we got Cucked. Great. That all goes in the junk pile. I feel like I should pre-open all of these. Like, you know, like, start all of them off so it's a little bit easier. Because other otherwise we actually will be here forever. <laughs> also, should I turn up the game audio a little bit so the music's a bit louder? Completely up to you guys, I don't mind. Okay. Bad code card again. I'm pretty sure the code card does actually mean something to what you're going to get. Because if I just quickly search through this... Yeah, it's just, it's just another regular rare. Which is interesting. Now this is good. Alright, sweet. We will keep it as is, then. Oh, I found the secret. I found the secret, dude. That's how you open them. That's how you gotta do it, every time. It's the only way. Oh, that's way easier. Nice. Uh, bad code card again. Once again, I have no idea if the code card actually means anything. I hope it doesn't, because that would be unfortunate. We got a reverse Vault Orb this time. And on the end, once again, a regular rare. So it seems like if you get the if you get the code card that isn't the um the white one, it seems you're gonna get something bad every time. He has discovered the secret technique. Alright, I'll let you guys on in on the secret, ready? There's a tiny you can't really see this. Oh, you can if I do it like that. There's a tiny, tiny little tab on that silver bit that you can pull. And then the secret technique, it just pops out straight away. So we haven't got any two insane pulls so far. Obviously, we're, we've already got one V card, so we've already got something cool to go along with. Okay, we got, we got the special code card. Does that mean something good? I hope so. One, two, three to the front. Take the energy off the back. We're gonna go. We're gonna go slow because this is some special, sh some, some some special shit right here. All right. When we get to the end, we have the reverse there, and then on the end, we got. Whoa! It's another V card. Let's go. Uh, Pin Urchin V. That's pretty cool. I like that. Bro, you open in the mon? Hell yeah, I am Storm. Thanks for doing the stream, dude. Very much appreciated. We'd be opening the mons. We'd be, we'd be slaving up the mons. We'd be protecting these mons. I need, I need to take my headphones off. I sound, I sound so weird to myself when I had, he when I have headphones on because the noise cancelling. There's no point of me having them on because then I can hear the Super Mario. 
uh, sunshine music better anyway. No problem. Good. Protect those mons. You gotta protect those mons, dude. All right, and there it is. It's it, it's it's in the sleeve, and it's also in a hard protective shell, so it it'll it'll be very safe. Oh yo. Okay. Keep in mind, like we've done how many packs? I don't know. I don't know how many we've done, but we still have that many left to go. <laughs> We're not stopping anytime soon. I've, I have a feeling I'm not even gonna touch Super Mario Sunshine today. <laughs> Unless I start speeding up or something. <laughs> yeah, I bought an entire booster box. Because I felt like it. You got the whole booster box? Yeah, I went with um, El Marco out to the card store and um, or the game shop in uh, undisclosed location today. Are you protecting him from the world or are you protect- or- Oh, or the world- wait. Are you protecting them from the world, or are you protecting the world from them? I'm protecting the world from them, from them, Stevie. You know how it is. These mons can't be getting free, dude. They're gonna, they're gonna cause havoc. Dude, that, that's awesome. I know the shop, I think. Okay, sweet, yeah. We went there today, and it was awesome, and I had a lot of fun. Okay, nothing there, just a regular rare. Um, it was fun, and then the guy was like, Oh, you looking to buy anything? And I was like, yes, I'll have this one box of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yep. And then he was like, I was like, oh, how much is that? And he's like, oh, the market value is 60, but I'll do it for 40. It's like, what? The guy's so nice. It's amazing. And then I was like, oh, how much for the booster box? And he's like, oh, normally they sell for around 100. I'll do it for 75. And I was like, bruh, I gotta buy it now. <laughs> the guy's a legend, honestly. There's only 75 for the entire booster box. It does sound like a lot. But, I mean, it's all right. It's not that bad. Oh, we got something special on this one. 75, I want to go there. Yes, you should. It is the best place on earth for getting cheap deals he's awesome he, he, he just literally wants to please everybody and i love it okay palapa special speed lightning energy I've never seen that before metapod toxel mr mime sonova pidov uh dakumakura reverse charbug and on the end we got oh it's a full art baby let's go alina i think that's how you pronounce it it's a full art baby let's go look at that look at that beautiful thing she was the villain in Sword and Shield, I'm pretty sure, but hold damn. It's beautiful. <laughs> I sh yeah. Yo, nice. No idea how, my, any, how much any of these were worth. I should probably have like TCG player up or something. TCG player rebel clash. Boop. And then we gotta put her in the hard shell to protect the world from her. She's evil. Evil. Okay, so if I go market price, most expensive to lowest expensive, she is seven dollars. Woo! Breaking the bank, boys. Let's go. Control yourself, Finn. I'm sorry. <laughs> even though I basically don't remember those games, I didn't even finish. Sword and Shield. In fact, I'm pretty sure I never made it beyond R Route 1, actually. <laughs> I don't know, I just lost interest, like, really quickly. I could probably give it another try if I wanted to, but... I don't know. I'm not really feeling that inspired to play any Pokemon games at the moment. God, these, they really pack these things in. Hopefully I can get at least one secret rare in this unboxing. That'd be awesome. Dude, I had to force myself. Bruh. It's always the worst when you have to force yourself to play a game. It's no fun then. How much did all this cost? The poke, the box, uh, the box of all these Pokemon cards cost me seventy-five dollars Australian, and then my Yu-Gi-Oh box cost me forty. So I spent a hundred and five dollars total at the card shop. Uh, so that's not too bad. I just realized I just revealed the last card to myself without realizing. It's nothing. So there's the reverse. The this camera keeps tilting slightly. Sorry about that. There's the reverse. And then, on the end, it's just a regular rare, because there's nothing special. But no, it didn't cost quite as much as I was expecting it to. Like, normally you expect... Wait, I should make, like, a pile of these on my desk, just so we can see exactly how many we have left. Okay, so the box is now empty. And, uh... That's the many packs we have left. You can't really see that. Let me tilt the camera down. That's the many packs we have left. It's a... It's a fairly solid stack. I still love the old ones though. I don't care if that's nostalgia, but I feel like they're more genuinely charming and fun to play. I completely agree with you. The newer games just kind of feel like 
I mean, it's kind of hard to make... I, I, I'll be back with cereal. Sounds good, Stevie. It's kind of hard to make a series not feel samey after a while, I suppose. But at the same time, you've got to... You've got to, like, change it up enough. And I don't feel like Sword and Shield changed it up enough to make it exciting, unfortunately. But that's okay. The Pokemon cards are good at... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is probably very hard to watch. Because people are like, God, if you just open the pack, dude. It's not that hard. It is that hard. I'm really struggling over here. <laughs> there we go. It seems you just gotta pull that secret tab and then we're all good. Um, okay, oh, we got the special code card. You know what that means? We're getting at least a holographic in this because that's apparently how it works that I've discovered. I'm excited for Snap. So am I, dude. I'm super hyped for Snap. I'm really hyped for um, 3D World plus um, Bowser's Fury as well. I'm definitely gonna play a Bowser's Fury on stream, which will be fun. So we got a Sandy Ghast Reverse, and then the holographic on the end is Grimmsnarl. Very nice. That's our second holographic next to Clefable. I don't know if I should be sleeving the holographics. I feel like it's probably best to do it just to be safe, so I'm gonna sleeve the holographics. But yes, Pokemon Snap in April. Looking forward to it. But I'm definitely gonna be playing uh, 3D World. Uh, I mean, I've already played 3D World on the channel. I'm, def I'm definitely gonna play at least Bowser's Fury on the channel. This Bowser's Fury looks awesome. The environments in Snap look actually nice and lush and interesting to be in. That's what I wanted from Sword and Shield, yeah. I feel like S Sword and Shield's art style wasn't that great either. It was kind of bland. Anyway, speaking of Sword and Shield, moving on to the next pack. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 more packs to go. Oh, God. We're gonna be here for a while. I mean, I've, I mean, we're only like 17 minutes in, so we're not doing too badly, I suppose. Uh, we got the bad code card, which means we're only getting a regular rare on the back here, so it's probably not even worth checking. Th no, it is totally worth checking through it because I got to get the reverse rare. So we got uh, Masquerain, Nugget, Tranquil. I should probably be showing you guys this. Hatna, Magikarp. I can't see it there. Uh, what's that? Menatite, Stunky, Groven, the reverse semi toad, and on the end, the regular rare, Mr. Rhyme? Does that say Mr. Rhyme or Mr. Mime? It's Mr. Rhyme, cool. That is the regular rare on the end. Cool. All right, so. Gotta put these in the right order, otherwise, I'm gonna have a hard time sorting these later. Oh no, Mr. Rhyme! Uh, why is it, I didn't even know there was a Pokemon called Mr. Rhyme. Is it probably like some kind of close relative of Mr. Mime? What's what's a rhyme again? It's something. It's 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 not like when you rhyme two words together. It's like R I M E. That's not that's something that's not good, right? Like it's something bad, isn't it? Oh, it's Galarian, Mr. Mime. Okay, makes sense. It's kind of cursed though. I will admit. Take the energy off. I'm gonna have a lot of energy by the end of this. Pokeball, Lampent, something, 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 something. Reverse of the supporter I got, except it's the normal version instead of the full art version that I got here. And then on the end, we got a regular rare. Let's go. I hate Mr. Mime. What have you got against Mr. Mime, man? I mean, I don't, I wouldn't say I have the strongest opinions of him either. I mean, he's all right. He's kind of funny. He's kind of, he's, he's, he's just chilling. Ice tuft, ice, ice tuft formations, eh? Interesting. He is an ice type, so it makes sense. That does make sense. Okay. Well, we got. Oh man, we're, we're, we're hitting a dry spell right now. Once again, the bad code card. Although I can redeem all of these code cards on my Pokemon account if I actually remember the login, which I probably don't. But a twin. I've never seen this before. Look at that. It's like a twin energy. That's kind of cool, actually. So I guess you attach the energy and it counts as two. That's kind of cool, actually. Um, we have the reverse Honage, the sword Pokemon. I gotta move my um, this box because I can't read really chat. So chuck it down there, and then on the end we got another regular rare. Let's go. I'm not sleeving the reverses, but I am putting them in a separate pile here, just for simplicity's sake. I'll probably sort these out after I get home from work tonight. Um, oh shit. <laughs> That's the camera. 
I'm like, what's that noise? Oh wait, it's the camera falling off. I use that a bit in competitive, basically all my energies would double. I mean, it, it, it makes sense. For one card, you're getting twice the amount of energy. You, you definitely want to capitalize on that. It's a, it's a winning advantage right there. Oh yeah, it was really funny last night. I was playing um, Phasmophobia with uh, our marker and Boy Games and Soulfire. As I, I'm not sure if they want their real names, so I'll just call them by that. Guys who know, know. Uh, we were playing Phasmophobia, and every single time I was the first to die, which is hilarious. But um, I think I think the thing I like the most about Phasmophobia is after you die, you can still like float around and hear all the voices of your companions and um, and like yeah, and you're in like this weird ghost world and it's kind of cool. So we got the capture energy reverse and just a regular rare on the end. So I won't bother showing it to you. But no, we were playing that and it's it's so funny to hear them be like Ch like oh, on the radio like guy like um Elmar's like Finn come in, do you read over? And look look he's just like oh no. His sanity's dropped off, he's dead. And then they find my body. It's just so funny, because they can't hear me, but they, they, they know I'm still there. So they're like, it's okay, Finn, we'll avenge you. It's just so much fun. I forgot how much fun Phasmophobia could actually be. I think it's, I, I think I have more fun dying than actually completing the mission. Uh, okay, so we have got the reverse of Barbara Roach here. And on the end, just a regular rare Electrive. Okay, this is, as I said, this is going to be a fat stack. I'm going to have 360 new Pokemon cards by the end of this, I just realized. Because it's 10 times, 10 times, 36 packs, there's 10 in each pack. So by the end of this, I'm going to have 360 Pokemon cards. Jesus Christ. What am I ever going to do with that amount? Dude, Boy Games let me play on these VR headset and I couldn't, I couldn't force myself to go in the house. I was terrified. I mean, it is, it's, it's horrifying. I agree. We played on one of the worst maps though, not because it's like difficult, because it's like so scary. Um, Boy Games found this map, which is, um, it's, it, it's an abandoned prison. And it's like, oh god, no. That was the first, that was the first time I was truly terrified of dying. It was just like, Jesus Christ, and I'm like going to this abandoned prison, opening up these like cell doors and like testing the temperature and shit, it's terrible. We got the good code card. It's time for a good card, lads. Alright, so we go three to the front. Take off the energy, it is a fighting energy. Here we go, we have... Masquerade. Dewblade. Capture energy. Caterpie. Corsola. Litwig, I nearly lost my cards there. Shinx. Roly Coley, I think that was. The reverse, Masquerade. And on the end, we got... It's a holo! It's, um, Hatterene, I think that is holo. That's pretty cool, actually. Can I get a focus on that? Focus. Focus! There we go. Nice and shiny. Bro, I can't wait for the Five Nights at Freddy's map DLC. <laughs> that would be awesome, actually. I'd, look, I'd, I'd definitely look forward to that. Alright, so we're gonna chuck Hatterene in her own sleeve, because why not? There we go. And move on to the next pack. So, keep in mind, after I finish all this, I will be back to playing Super Mario Sunshine again. We are currently, as if I switch over to my gameplay thing right now, we are currently waiting outside Corona Mountain, because that is where we will be going after this. So, uh, what's the quality on the stream? 480p, so that's good. Yeah, we are going to, we're going to be going back into Corona Mountain after this, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. That is wide cam, that is the wrong button. Uh, okay, we got the, we got the good code card again. So we should have something good here. Three to the front. I wonder if the good code card should be back now. Sorry about that, my internet went out. Uh, I hope we're back now. And I hope this stream isn't cut into two different sections now, but that's alright. Anyway, as we were saying... We have on the end the Galarian Weezing, and of course the final card, which is a special boy, is the Full Art Copper Jar VMAX. That looks spectacular. Um, I'm just going to check the price on that one. What is it? The What's it called again? The Copper Jar VMAX card. So not the secret version, we want the normal version. It's worth $4! Very nice. That is pretty cool though. Anyway, we're going to chuck that in a sleeve and then chuck that in a top loader. 
Very cool card. Apologies for the stream dropping out there, everybody. We, as I said, we should be back online now and working correctly again. So there we go, Copper Jar VMAX. Alright, let me put Weezing there. It's back! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Stevie, the internet went out. I can't control it. It's annoying, and I hate it. And I wish we had a better connection, but it's back. We're good. We're back online. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mario. Hello, Mario. Got the bad code car. We're hitting this. We're hitting a dry streak again. It's unacceptable. Electrode, Tool Scrapper, Curse Shovel, Duckamara, Volpix, Millicery, uh, Far Fetched, Meowth, Reverse Millicery. Bruce, Bruce Storm here. I need to give him some of his, some of his cereal. You got to message him, dude. You got to get him back on you. And the and the normal regular uh, scissor on the end. I've got to take off the code. Uh, the the uh, What's it called? The energy card. Okay. Yeah, it says I've been... I think it's... I think it must have broke it up into two streams, which is a pain, because then I have to edit them together. But... I mean, it might not have. Oh, yeah, it cut them up into two streams. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to have to slap them back together to make, like, the full video. So, as you're watching this video on YouTube, if anybody is, there is a, probably a cut where I'm like, okay, it's back, because the stream went offline. I hope that doesn't happen again, because editing together... A lot of footage like that is a real pain. So you got to download it, and then you got to slap it all together, and then it takes a fucking ages to export, and it's a real pain, and I hate it, and it annoys me. But it's okay because I will be I'll be doing it for the sake of it being good on YouTube. Speed Energy, Palapot, Palo Sand, Impedimp, uh, Shinx, Sandy Gas, Roly Coley, Stunky, the Reverse Tool Scrapper. That looks fantastic, actually. And on the end, we have our regular work. Wegger the wear, regular rare Ludico. Very nice. We've got to get Storm back in here, dude. He's gonna have his cereal. Okay, I'm gonna to have to start a new pile of uh, of well, not junk cards, of all the rare, uncommon, common, common, and, and common, uncommon, and rare cards because uh, my stack's getting a bit thick here. <laughs> so we're gonna to have to make a new pile for that, and then okay, we've got about maybe ten packs left, and then we'll be moving on to Super Mario Sunshine as always. The Weggy of the Wear. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I can't, I cannot speak sometimes and it's very funny. Okay, we've got the bad code card. There's going to be a lot of rubbish to clean up actually. But no, that's okay. I want you three to the front. We take the energy off the back. We are then going Lompre. Uh, I'm just going to start a new thing here. Galar Mine, Durant, Voltorb, Growlithe, Dreepy, Snova, Binacle, the reverse Pedov. You get a reverse in every pack, by the way, everybody. So I'll have 36 reverse at the end of this. And the regular wearer, Silageth. Very nice. And next pile. Bro, just got back. You got that cereal. Stevie's got it ready and waiting. Storm, don't you worry, my friend. I'm always terrified I'm going to bend a card or something. Okay, we got the special code card, boys. You know what that means. Something good. Something a little, a little bit, a little bit spicy in this pack. Here we go. Okay, here we go. We got Lampent. I should be doing this in the pile. Metachamp, Beware, Magma, Yamask, Surskit, Stuffle, Coughing, the Reverse Shuckle. And on the end, we got... Oh, baby! It's a Reverse Luxray. Look at that. Look at that beautiful thing. It ever focuses. Come on, focus. There we go, look at that beautiful thing. If it actually focus, it's not focusing. And I'm dropping frames. No! Luxray? Very nice reverse Luxray. <laughs> Every time I do it now, everyone's gonna be like that in chat, and it's gonna be so annoying. But you know what, that's okay. I've brought this upon myself, so that's, that's alright. <laughs> God, they're so hard to open. They make magic cards so easy to open. And then you get these ones, and it's like, no, they are they are stuck in there. Is that a challenge, Finn? I mean, you have to make sure that I actually stutter properly and say, like, wax way or whatever. And then if you want, you can chuck it in chat and embarrass me forever. <laughs> Electro, Zaxu, Bronzor, Tuxel, Litwick, uh, Lotad, 
We got the reverse Tox. Tox. Fuck, what? <laughs> okay, unpronounceable. <laughs> and then the regular rare on the end, so it's a Magmortar. <laughs> unpronounceable. Okay, ripping it off. Going in. Okay. So, for context, the rarest card in the set is worth uh, $95. So, if we somehow pull the $95 card, that would be epic. Obviously, I'm not going to sell it or anything because you got to get it greater for it to be worth anything. But, uh, yeah. Just an interesting fact I thought I'd throw out there. Okay, we have the Reverse Galarian Yamask. I'm just going to do this if I get the bad code card so we can move on quickly. And then Wish Cash. I was close! I didn't I didn't stuff it up though. <laughs> no, Wheeze Cash. Okay, I did say it wrong then, never mind. What do we got? Special code card, let's go! There it is, boys. The special code card. We're gonna do it. This is epic. Online rewards await me, apparently. I don't even have the app installed, but that's okay. The lightning energy. Oh, it's something real special by the look of it. Okay, well, I'm just gonna siphon off all of the uh, regular rares into the pile here. We have the Galarian Meowth on the end. Gamer time. Oh, yeah. Regular rare Meowth. And we take it off, and oh boy! It is a Full Art V card. It is Cinderace Full Art V. That looks fantastic. Look at that. Look at that lad. Look at that shimmer. That looks awesome. Ooh. That actually looks kind of sick. I'm looking at why the background looks amazing with the fire and shit. Feel likey. All right, we're going to throw that in here. By the way, if, if I get any rainbow cards, it's going to be really good. Because the rainbow cards are the secret rares, and they're worth the most in the set. There we are, a uh, full art Cinderace V. All safely protected in the top loader. Alright, next pack. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 more packs left after this one, so we've got, this is our 11th pack. Well, yeah, we have 11 packs left. After I open this one, we'll have 10. And then we can get back to what I do best, gaming. I say I do best, I'm not even that good of a gamer. <laughs> we got the regular code card, so it does not matter what's in this, it's not going to be anything good. So we'll just quickly siphon through to get to the reverse. It is Masquerade Reverse. And on the end, we have Cromorant Regular Rare. So I can just chuck that back in the pile. Okay, this is the 10 more packs now. This is the 10th, 10th last pack that we're going to open. That doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. We're dropping frames again. I'm sorry about this, everybody. I keep dropping frames out of nowhere, my bad. I think it's because I'm trying to watch the stream. That's probably what's affecting it. I don't know. I mean, I do have a stream quality turned way down to 144p, so it looks, like, it looks terrible. Maybe because I'm watching the stream, that's the issue. I could just pop the chat out, and then... Wait, how do I pop the chat out? I have no idea how to pop the chat out. Let's go. Oh, wait. Never mind. Hang on. I can see what users are in the chat. I forgot that's a feature. So I'm the broadcaster, obviously. And then uh, Stevie's the mod. And then also other people will be watching. Oh, uh, Marker. Shout out to all Marker watching this at home like he said he would. Uh, and then we got like other people. That's kind of sick, actually. I didn't realize you could see other people in chat that aren't speaking. That's epic. Okay. And then we got the Pelipot reverse. And it's just going to be a regular on the end. It is... Uh, Unpheasant? Something like that. Something like that. Okay, ninth last pack. I didn't realize how long this is going to take. This is going to be like the first half an hour of the video when it goes up on YouTube. And then the rest of it's going to just, just going to be Super Mario. Um, Super Mario Sunshine gameplay. It's going to be pretty epic. Okay. Eh. Give me the goods. We got the special code card, boys. It's game of time. Okay, so we got... Oh, wait, I gotta do it from the back. So put that down. One, two, three to the front. I almost did it wrong. 
can't believe I'd ruin a special pack like this. Okay, uh, it looks like something pretty special. Uh, so we got the stadium card. I'm just going to skip through to, oops, I kind of revealed that already. Uh, Arcanine reverse right there. And on the end, we got a BAM. It is, if I can, oh, it's Cinderace V, but not the, oh no, it's a Cinderace V Max. Full art, never mind. I was like, it's not special. Yes, it is special. It's like one of the best cards in the set. Let's go. So. This damn camera ever focuses, you'll be able to see. Come on. There we go. So yeah, that is the Full Art VMAX Cinderace. It looks very poggers. Alright, so we're going to chuck that in a sleeve, and then uh, we'll move on. you got to protect your special boys, you know? You can't be you can't be going around and keeping these guys loose. They're too rare. I mean, they're not that expensive, but they're too special. They look too nice. But now I've got pretty much... But now I've got the set of these, because I've got the uh, the regular V Cinderace Full Art, and now I have the VMAX version as well. We've got the full set, very nice. Alright, eight, la eight last cards. Control yourself around the anth Anthropomorphic. Anth Anthropom... <laughs> Fuck me, I can't speak. Anthropomorphic Rabbit, there we go. But just don't think about it, I can speak properly. <laughs> this is just a regular... Regular card cards, not going to be anything too special. Cycle through, we have the reverse nugget, very nice, and the regular rare nine tails on the end. I put the nugget in the wrong pile, it needs to be on that pile. I'm just thinking about how much work it's going to be to store all this afterwards, but that's okay. I have to go to work later anyway, so I can figure out how I'm going to do all this when I get home. I've been trying to do that for months. Too hot for months. How's it going, Cobus? Thanks for joining the stream, dude. Appreciate it. Pokemon. Pokemon cards, indeed. We're almost done. We've got seven more packs, and then we're moving on to, um, to Sunshine again. So rest assured, we will be doing Sunshine after this. It's just, we got to do this first, and then I have to go back into Corona Mountain again. Think less, talk good. I agree. We have this special code card on the back. What's set? We are doing uh, Rebel Clash. As you can see there. Sword and Shield Rebel Clash, and I bought a booster box that we're emptying out right now. Darkness of Blaze? Nope. Okay, here we go. But we got the code card, so it means we're going to be, have something real special in here. Uh, okay, so we're just going to skip through to the reverse. It is a reverse time pole. There we go. And on the end, we have the V Intel, uh, Intel, Intel Align. Something like that. It's the, it's the evolution of, um, it's the final evolution of Sobble. That's pretty cool. It's not. It's it's just the regular V version. It's not like it's a full art or anything, but it's still pretty cool. I reckon. You bought twenty, or were some of those already taken? No, I went to my regular card store and bought a booster box, which is pretty cool. When you say the name wrong, I I agree. It is a bra moment. All right. Uh, one, two. Oh, this is the sixth sixth last pack. So we're getting down to the wire now, everybody. That is a big cheeky moment. It doesn't really, <laughs> it doesn't really matter how I say it, but yeah, it is a bit of a bra moment. We got another special one. We're on a hot streak right now. Let's go. Imagine having money for Pokemon cards. <laughs> I agree. Imagine. Oh wait, <sighs> nearly stuffed it up. There is a pattern. You go three from the back to the front, and then you get rid of the energy card, which is on the end, and then it puts the, the most special card at the end, which is awesome. Okay, so we got the Galarian Mr. Mime as the reverse. And then on the end, we have a holographic card. It is a uh, Colossal in holographic form. Very nice. See, so yeah, I'm going to have to clean all of this up when I get home. Because I'm not going to have time before I go. Why are you showing us the code card which will show us it was actually something good? So everyone can get hyped, you know? If someone's just like in the background watching this stream without really paying attention, I've got to be like, here comes the special thing. And then everyone's like, all right, look at the screen now. Also, you're going to claim this code cards? Yes, yes. I, I have the online client. I will be redeeming all of these. It will take about three years approximately. But yes, I will be redeeming the code cards. Okay, regular code card. 
Look away from your screens, children. Nothing special in this one apart from the reverse. Um, okay, so we got uh, Zex 2 Reverse. And then on the end we have Agislash. Very nice. I actually said a name right. Let's go. Agislash. It's a cool name. I've only ever opened eight on the website, I think. Yeah. I mean, it, take, it takes so long to open them. That's what's annoying about it. I think I used to, I used to have it a lot because I used to redeem all my, when I used to collect Pokemon cards a lot more excessively than I do now when I was a little bit younger. Um, yeah, I used that website all the time. I used to collect evolutions. That was my favorite set for a long time. We've got the reverse Colossal in this pack. And on the end, we have the Galarian uh, Darmanitan. Something like that. That's probably how you pronounce it. It probably isn't. Let's face it, but that's all right. Down to the last three packs now, everybody. I've been flying through them. Let's hope I've somehow made it so I get a few special ones at the end and it's not just drag. Okay, this one is not nothing special because we just have the regular code card as opposed to the white one. Uh, so get the code card out of here. One, two, three to the front. I got all three starters, all Mega Rex. <laughs> Damn, dude, lucky. Uh, so let's sort through. We have the Metacham. Uh, what do you call it? Reverse. And then on the end, we have the regular rare Garbodor. Garbodor. Almost said that wrong. That's alright. Alright, second last pack. Here we go. I've got this one blister on my thumb that's really annoying me because I was doing drumming yesterday and I hadn't done it in a long time. And then I was like, the most, the contact points of the drumsticks are all blistered. And it's a big pain. But it's okay. Okay, I just bent the shit out of these cards. I really hope there's nothing special in this. Damn it! Okay. <laughs> Imagine not caring about the comments. Dude, this will take three hours if I read through every common name. We did get something special. I don't think I bent them too much, so I think we should be okay. Have you gotten a gold card or a rainbow rare before? No, I've never gotten either, so I'm hoping today's the lucky day in these last two packs. Okay. It's not a rainbow rare. I just had a peek at it. That's okay. We have the reverse dublade on the end, and on the last final special card, we have a regular V... For Phalanx? Phalanx? Something like that. That is just a regular V card. That's right. We will still be sleeving it up. Yo, same. I feel like, yeah, I'm pretty sure the gold and uh, rainbow cards are like the secret rares. They're not guaranteed in the boxes at all. Which is what makes them so special. Okay, last pack. Hopefully we get something special in the last pack. We, we've had a pretty good run. We've got, um... Let me just check what we... Let's just check what we have so right, uh, right now. Currently we have one, two, three, four regular V cards, which is already pretty good. And then we have uh, three, f four full art cards, which is pretty good. So we got the the Cinderace V Max full art right there, the Cinderace V full art there, the uh, Copper Jar uh, V Max card there. So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, the most special, the Full Art Trainer card of Alina. So, that's probably the best card we got in the entire set so far. So, cool. We're doing quite well currently. I'd be very happy with that. But, of course, I'd be happier if we got something special. Last pack of the day, lads. I love how we're going to see a Delfino Plaza backing sound. Yeah, I figured it'd be nice to have a little bit of background sound on this. All right, boys. Are we getting anything special in this final pack? We are getting something special in this final pack. Let's go. It's a good, it's a good finish. I'm happy. There we go. We are getting something special, boys. It's the last pack of the day. Either way, I'm putting something in a, in a top loader, so I'm happy. Oh my. Oh, it's something real special. Let's go. It's probably a full art. Okay, so we got Full Heal, Sonya, Masquerain. I almost revealed the card then. Volpix, Phantom, Farfetch'd, that one, Mr. Mime, Burning Scarf. And on the end, we have... Oh, it's a rainbow! Let's go! Yes! No way! On the last fucking back. Let's go! Once again, I can't pronounce it at all, but holy shit. On the last pack possible, we got the gay lizard. Stevie's word's not right, mine. Let's go! On the last pack. Let's fucking go! That's my first... God, it's so pretty. I'm gonna put it in a sleeve first before I wave it around a bunch. Gay lizard, yes! Look at that, it's so pretty! Look at that. That's beautiful. Focus, goddammit, camera. Oh my god, come on, please. 
Focus. Focus on the gay lizard right now. Wafoon, how can you say the G word? It's transphobic. Your words, not mine! Don't do me dirty like that, Stevie. <laughs> what if I face the camera down like this? Is that a better angle? No, that's like ten times worse. Damn, I cannot get a good angle on this at all. Like, <laughs> come on, dude. I just want to get a cool angle for the stream, man. And for the eventual YouTube video. I cannot believe on the last possible pack I managed to pull that. That's so good. Jesus, this really doesn't want to focus. My god. It's because your face is in there? That's a good point. I should get my, my ugly face out of here. Dude, seriously, the last pack and I get Gay Lizard? Let's go. What if I can do that? Out of the way. Thinking about it. Come on. Focus in. What if I give it like a background? Like that. Oh, there we go. It's focused. Look at that. It's a beautiful boy. Beautiful, beautiful boy. Alright, well. <laughs> as far as pack openings go, I would say that was fairly successful. Uh, getting, getting a rainbow rare on the last pack possible in the unboxing is very special, so I'm very pleased that we managed to pull that off. Um, I'm now going to attempt to wade my way out of the piles of... Gar like, the garbage piles of pack. Also, do you have three monitors? No, I only have two monitors. I can I can show you the setup when I get up, because I will have to move the camera back onto the tripod. But yes, as far as pack openings go, I would say that was fairly successful. So, here's the setup. Here, here's what we're looking at. So we got code cards over there. And then my energy cards. These are just the piles of commons, uncommons, and rares. Uh, the the reverse pile is over here, of course. Right here, of course, is my special pile in the sleeves. So we've got uh, Gay Lizard frontlining it there. That's all the I haven't sleeved up these ones yet, but that's all of the hollows. And uh, there's the pile of garbage next to my desk. But no, I have um, <laughs> I didn't say they were garbage. I, I I just have the two monitors set up, so it's pretty basic. Anyway, I'm going to close the stream on this laptop, so on my computer actually, so you'll be without. I, I won't be reading the chat for a little while. I'm going to put you guys back on the tripod over here where you belong for the regular. I said a regular setup, I've just realized I have the camera tilted down. So it's not going to be exactly noticeable, but there we are. That is, of course, the regular set. Um, I have a message from Mr. Remarker. Just tuned to the stream, Pock. You want a game tonight? Okay, cool. So then we switch back to gameplay, and we're back on, boys. I cannot see anything in chat right now, so I'm gonna have to open it on my laptop. And also move my mic. I forgot about moving my mic. Otherwise, you guys will never be able to hear me. Okay, and now we can get to playing more Corona Mountain. Oh boy, I can hardly wait to play more of this. <laughs> I, I can wait. I can definitely wait, but we might as well do it now. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to refresh my page so I can see what's happening. See if we've kept any viewers after all that. I love the subtle line because they went from sad to gay. Also, <laughs> truly a role model for folks like me. The comments aren't garbage. Finn's been watching some YouTube. You can't control us. No. I mean, it's true, I can't. Okay. So we can now get on to playing more Corona Mountain. If I can actually get into the stage properly. What a what a transition. We've gone from uh, unboxing gay lizards. I'm only reason I'm saying all this, Stevie, is because you said it and I think you're okay with the joke. So I hope you're okay with the joke. If you're not, let me know and I'll stop. But from unboxing Pokemon cards to doing this, it's a fairly big jump, but that's alright. So we've got to wait for the spikes to be up before we go for the jump. Like so, and when they run out, we can then land on the platform, do a little spin Rooney. Up we go. Now, I haven't really done that much practice since last time I played. So, I am going into this a little bit cold. I mean, I suppose I go into every stream a little bit cold on the game. But, I don't seem to be doing too badly at the moment. Also, title change. That is a good idea. I should do that. Um, so, we need to do... Uh, I'll just call it Corona Mountain. Super Mario Sunshine. There we go. Thank you, Kobits, for catching that. Otherwise, that is lying to my viewers because I've already finished the Pokemon TCG unboxing, of course. 
Imagine actually getting lucky with Pokemon cards. Dude, that was my first ever time unboxing a, um, a booster box as well. It's so much fun. I'd do it more often if it wasn't so expensive. But no, that was really fun. And it was so perfect that I got the, uh, the Lizard Rainbow card. I probably mistimed that a little bit, but I think we'll be fine. Yep. Okay, we're not doing too badly. Refill my water. Get another life. So there's only... I, ha I currently, if you check the thing, I currently have five... Wait, that camera angle is still not good. Sorry, everybody. That's better. So I currently have five blue coins in, in uh, Corona Mountain. So I need to be getting the last five, which are all strewn around the ending area. So... Yes. So to turn the boat, I always want to be at the front. I'm pretty sure Kova said last stream. So, and to be in the middle when you're just moving the boat forwards, I'm pretty sure you said as well. So yeah, turning the boat, you stay at the front. Not that much up front. Oh, sorry. My bad. I figured you had to be all the way at the front, but apparently not. So whenever it looks like I'm traveling away from where I need to go, just need to make minute adjustments to my trajectory in order to get where I want to go. Okay, I did not make that turn properly, so we're going to be crashing fairly soon if I don't do anything about it. Okay, we're just going to be able to squeeze through here. Uh, I should turn the other way now. Here we go. I think I'm just going to shoot through this way because it might be a little bit, I think it'll be a little bit easier. Middle front, so it's just turning you instead of, instead of pushing me. Okay, gotcha. As well. Okay, gotcha. So if I counterbalance that and I just go forwards now. I should be doing well. Turn a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to do a massive 360 to get this one. This one's gonna be the, one, of, one of the more difficult ones, I think. Because I've gotta go like pretty much out of my way to get it. So if I go forwards now to the starboard side, I should... Okay, I gotta turn this boat. Back a bit. Uh, and then it's over. Back, back. I could just jump out and get it, right? Oh, wait, am I supposed- wait. Am I supposed to jump out and get it or not? I'm not sure. I mean, it's literally right there. I don't think- I don't think I even have to leave the boat for this one. Okay, I do have to slightly leave- Oh! Whoo! That was close. Never jump out of the boat. Okay, yeah, I see why. That was immensely close to my demise, but that's alright. Okay, so I have to turn this boat around without pushing anything else. Ideally, I want to get this on this try, because if I don't, it's kind of unfortunate that I have to come all the way back into this boat section again. So I, ideally, we get this on our on our, uh, on our our try now, but I, I'm aware that is kind of a little bit ludicrous. You know, it's not it's not guaranteed that I'm gonna, that I'm gonna get it or anything, just like I wasn't guaranteed to get the lizard, but I did. Okay, there we go. That brings us to seven total. Oh my... What? Okay, that's interesting. I think I was, th I didn't even press jump, or maybe I pressed, uh, who knows, I'm not even sure what happened there. That's all right. <laughs> I think I hit, I, I think I tried to go back too quickly and hit A or something. So I just ended up doing a side flip. That's all right. We can deal with that. There's only like three more to go anyway, and some of them I can access pretty easily. They are all at the, all at the back though, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's okay. As I said, after this, we'll be doing the last of the Delfino Blues, I'm pretty sure, was the last thing Cobus instructed me to do. And then after that, I think we're going back in and finishing off Noki Bay and uh, Pianta Village. So we're doing quite well in terms of 
progression in this game. Uh, as you can see, we've done about the same amount of Noki Bay and Pianta Village. And we're just working on Corona Mountain now. So we have 7 out of the 10 blue coins. Imagine having this take more than one try. <laughs> Bruh. I'm not like some Superman expert man at this game. Yeah, the last of the D D Delfino Blues and a couple of shines in Delfino as well. Alright. Sounds adequate to me. Imagine being a gamer. I agree. This post was made by fake gamer Finn. <laughs> I, I'm still I'm still amazed that I managed to get a rainbow card on my on my last try in the last pack possible, which makes me think the box maybe I just got lucky or maybe the box is like mapped slightly so that's the case I doubt it though I probably just got really lucky. Thin fake gamer, I mean I would I, I would I would definitely call myself a gamer. You guys can be the can be the deciding factor on whether I'm a fake or a true gamer. I feel like I've been playing this I'm a pretty good gamer right. Just to let you know, you're doing way better than most. Aw, oh, thanks man, I appreciate that. Well, that's a thing, everybody's like, this is the hardest thing ever. And I will admit, the boat is a little finicky. Once you, like, understand how it works, it's not that bad. Like, it's, 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 it, it's achievable, you know? It's all about the learning curve, boys. In all seriousness, I don't understand the concept of fake gamers. I don't as well. I mean, if you're playing, if you're playing games, then you're a gamer. You know what I mean? I think people, I think people get misconstrued at, at the idea of a gamer. You have to be like this hardcore, twenty hours a day, you know, like thing like that. But it's like no, you can you can like casually play games and still be a gamer. Just people think that to be a game, you have to be this like colossal. Time, it has to be a colossal time sink. No, you have ca you have casual people that just play like Animal Crossing or something and no other games, and they're still gamers. I don't get it. Okay, I'm gonna go straight through to get that back that one at the back there. It's a bit stupid, isn't it? It's a bit stupid, Gordon. God, my Gordon voice. <laughs> I, I don't even know. I don't even know what the character is, but my voice for it is terrible. Fake gamers, I'm guessing. It's just saying that you aren't good at games and I guess you aren't a gamer for some reason. I don't know. I mean, you definitely have people that say they play games, I guess, to try and seem like they're cool. Like, you have, like, influences. Like, I still play games. And it's like, yeah, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh my god, that was close. Okay, I'm rushing. I'm rushing. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm too focused on getting this done. I need to slow it down a lot. I'm going way too fast right now. Okay, and then turn the boat. Turn the boat around. Just like that. And then stop it when we're next to the boat. And then, like, one little book forward. And then get the... Okay, we got the blue coin. Good. Now, I don't know about you guys. That one there is the only one that's going to be the next issue. The one after that, I can get back to and jump to it without using the boat. Ideally, I'd like to get both of them in this try, but if I don't get it in this try, then I can always do it a different way, you know? So I'm not, I'm not too worried right now. Okay, we're just gonna very slowly turn the boat this way. If you focus on getting this done, be going too slow. I suppose so. I think my mind's off, already off doing other bits of this game. Like I'm already like, all right, we gotta get shines and Delfino and everything like that. I don't know. I'm having fun though. This is like once you, as I said, once you understand how it works, it's not that hard. Okay, so now we just gotta get over there to the last one, which is where it's there. Okay. I could jump out of the boat, but that would be stupid. Okay, we're turning the boat ever so slowly. Let's go! Wait, did I turn it enough? Okay, I turned it enough, thank god. Like, did I turn the boat enough? I hope so. 
Sometimes I just rush it. I mean, yeah, if you're doing a speedrun, I can understand why you'd rush it. You gotta go fast, and this is like the slowest section in the game. So it makes sense that you want to go fast. Okay, and bam! That is all the blue coins in Delf in uh, Delfino what? I must have Delfino Mountain. No, Corona Mountain. There's only 10 total. That is all of them in a nutshell. And I'm very glad. Now, I exit stage now, don't I? I don't bother doing anything else. I'm at... I think I just exit area, right? Exit stage. Okay, sweet. We did it! We finished the boat ride. I agree. Fin champ indeed. Alright. Now we can do the thing. So we need one more... I believe it's one more blue coin in Delfino Plaza. And then, of course... Uh, so Corona Mountain's done. Delfino Plaza, there's one more. And then the rest of them are in uh, Nuki Bay and, of course, Pianta Village. And then we got to do shrines as well. Alright, let's do it! Cobus, you're up, my man. Sorry for moving around too much. I probably should stop while I wait for instructions. Go spray, all the, go spray the bell you've been wanting to spray. Okay, good. I finally get to spray that bell. I've been looking at that bell for weeks, wanting to spray it. And now I can spray it. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. How do I get up there, for one? Rocket nozzle up. That makes sense. Boop. It's rock noz time. Very close, but no cigar. I'm stuck on the edge. Okay, and then... Rock Man! Is the original name for Mega Man, but then it was Mega Man in the States. But it's Rock Man in Japan. And then spray that bell. Or not. Fall off the edge. That works as well. Or we could have just spun up there. That's what I do. Cool. True. But I'm not I'm not exactly the spin master, as you know. There it is. Another shine for our collection. Ah. Is that... That's going to be the problem. Okay, wait. Wahoo! I agree. I can get back up there if I need to, by the way. Get nine coins in the sewer before getting the shine. I can do that. Exactly nine coins? What if I go over? What happens then? I forgot where this path splits off. There. Okay, I'll go this way. Wrong sewer. Right. It's the one in between. It's the it's the moon one as opposed to the sun one, right? I don't know how to describe it any better than that. There we go. Man, you get you really get a speed boost out of that. It's this one, right? No, that's the same one. Okay, I'm an idiot. Sorry. I'm a little bit of a Tom Fooler boy. Okay, this camera angle needs some work. Boop. Boop. Okay, it's this one. No, is it this one? Oh, wait. On top of the house. Okay, gotcha. Thank you, Kervis. Okay, but I have to go find coins before doing that, though. Whee! Oh, that works. There's my nine coins. Speed. And there's our shine. Hoggers. I'm pretty close to finishing this, aren't I? I mean, I'm. There's still a lot of work to go, but we're not doing too bad. Have you done pachinko? Yes, I've done pachinko. There's only one shine in Pachinko, isn't there? Because if so, I, I have done Pachinko. We did it. That was, one, that was like one of the first ones I did on stream. Just get one coin then. Alright, one measly coin. I can probably do that. I'm going to spray a bird. Oh wait, I'm going to pay the chuck here, right? That's what I'm going to do. Okay, one coin. Mm. 
No, interesting. Are we doing 100 coins now? That's probably it. Head to the guy next to the boat by Rico. Radio. Oh, we're gonna pay to go to the other place. I gotcha. Shall I take you to the air? The air strip. It's only ten coins. Yes. Don't expect any sea shanties from this captain, mate. <laughs> All right, boys. We're back here again, just like the start of the game. And it's hundred coin time, probably. And also red coin time. A lot of times. Don't activate the red coin switch yet. Okay. Captain is better. I agree. There's a lot of sea shanties with him. I agree. Captain is the far superior man. Um, I'm going to take this nozzle because I'm going to go beach hunting. Okay, there's blue coins here, here as well. Let's go. Get the rocket nozzle and go into the hut. We are in the hut. Oh, wait, there's a blue coin here. What do we do here? There's a blue in the ice cube. How do I get ice cube? Do I melt it? Yes, I do. <laughs> How does one ice cube? There we go. How many um, blue coins are on the airstrip here? Oh, wait, it doesn't even tell me my blue coin count. Uh-oh. Don't get 100 coins here. Okay. I mean, I figured that was the answer, because there's, like, coins everywhere. Get all the red coins. Okay, I can do that. Come on. Get it. There we go. Collect all the red coins before the timer runs out. Now I've got to go on a C dash out here. This is fun. I actually like this. This is really enjoyable. Whee! Make sure I don't get a hundred. Okay. I will purposely avoid getting a hundred coins. Oh, what a snipe. Let's go. Bam. Is there any reason why you don't get 100 coins in this section? Because it's easy to do in a different section or something, or...? Well done, Mario. Well done, Mario. Don't collect the shine. Alright, we can not... Yes, we will not do that. Oh, I'm dropping frames, no! Get 99 coins. Streams being stinky. You're fine for me? Huh, interesting. Okay, so you get 99 coins. Gotcha. Okay, I missed like every coin, but that's alright. 
But if you get 99, you'll keep the one you go to Delfino, and then you can just get one coin in Delfino. Okay, makes sense. Sorry, I'm like, I'm literally like dropping every frame right now. Sorry about this, everybody. I know it's probably becoming somewhat unwatchable at the moment. Um, I do also have to go to work fairly soon, so hopefully that's not going to be a pain. Okay, so like now, now, now I get this shine, and I have the 99 coins when I go back to Delfino. It doesn't look like you're dropping frames to me. I mean, it might have fixed itself now, I'm not sure. Okay, it seems like I've stopped dropping frames now. When you got the shine it did? Okay, gotcha. No, I'm still dropping frames. That's annoying. Oh wait, no I'm not. I don't know. I'm probably still dropping frames. I am dropping frames. Okay, sorry about this everybody. Um, okay, so now I get the shine, and I just get one coin here and now, right? And then I get the, the shine. Get one coin and get the hundred coin shine. And you got it. Right out. That was unfortunate, but that's alright. get one of these birds eventually, don't you worry. Yeah, I'm still dropping frames. Sorry, everybody. It's just going to be a really laggy experience towards the end here. My apologies about the stream quality, because it has dropped significantly. You're dropping quite a few frames now. Yeah, I'm sorry. There's not really much. There's not much I can really do about it, unfortunately. Man, you think it'd be easier to find a coin in this place? Damn, my stream quality hasn't been this bad since the initial days. Spray an open window near the main plaza. Okay. Cool. There we go. Oh, that's why the banana spawns out there. Or, uh, uh, I guess. Interesting. Now I gotta get somehow get over there. Uh, why is it there then? Okay. Turbo. Okay. Or, or, or rocket nozzle. Okay. I'll just take the rocket nozzle. I reckon then. Just to make it a little bit easier on myself. You you skip doing something because it's hell. Oh god, I can't can't wait to do whatever that is. Okay, there we go. Another shine for the collection. 80 shines and counting. Cool. Alright. Do I want to keep going with the slacking or I'm gonna get you I'm gonna get you to skip it, so don't worry. Okay, cool. Where are we off to now? I might end the stream soonish, because I do have to prepare for work and eat and everything like that. Noki Bay time. Okay, I think I might just save that till next time if that's alright everybody. Obviously the stream quality right now is pretty bad and I've got to get ready for work unfortunately. So Next stream, we will be moving on to Noki Bay once again. So thank you guys so much for watching this uh, stream if you have watched. Hopefully you liked the change up of pace a little bit with the TCG opening. 
And uh, Kobus, once again, thank you very much for your directions. We've now finished off Corona Mountain and a little bit of uh, the Delfino Plaza. So next stream we will be moving on to Noki Bay. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. And uh, yeah, without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next stream or video. Nintendo out. Apologies for this short stream. I do have to go to work. Nintendo out. Do not do drugs, kids. It is bad. See you later, everyone. Bye bye. Now you have all of the Delfino Blues. Pog, let's go. Wait, do I? Oh yeah, I do. Sweet. I'm very pleased at that. Yes, I want to save. See you later. See you, Stevie. Because the blue airstrip one counts for some reason. That's tricky. Alright. Catch you later, ladder Roonies.